Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm showing you how to create a 3D swivel transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it looks a little bit something like this. Uh, we have our first footage and then it just swivels into the second footage like so. And so we just have like this sort of 3D swivel and you know, you have control over it. You can make it go fast, you can make it go slow or it's just all up to how you want to do it. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is uh, just create yourself a new sequence file new sequence and then we're going to take our footage and we're going to drag it in so i'm just going to drag both of these pieces in and then now you just want to align them so that they are um where you want to actually create the swivel so maybe like right here for this piece of footage i'm going to just cut the back end off here and then th right there looks good so now we have it all set up, and let me just go ahead and mute this track right here. We have it all set up. And so what we wanna do is we want to go over to our effects. So we drop down, go to effects, and we're gonna search for something called 3D or basic 3D. That is under video effects, perspective, and then basic 3D. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and drag it onto each one of our clips. So the first clip and the second clip. We're then going to find the point that we want to begin the swivel. Uh, we can start from the center and sort of go maybe out from the center. So if we want it to be uh, 10 frames long, we'd go five in this direction and five in that direction. If we want it to be 20 frames long, 10 in this direction, 10 in that direction. We're gonna go with 20 frames and see how that looks. So we will just go one, two right here. I'm holding down the shift key while clicking the back button to make it go five at a time. Or you can just click this 10 times. So we're gonna go back to right there. We're gonna click on our first piece of footage right here. We're then going to go up into effect controls. Usually it is located up here. And then we're going to go down into the basic 3D. Now what we wanna do is we want to toggle the animation and then we want to move forward to this point right here, right where it cuts. And we wanna bring this to 90 degrees. What that is going to do is it's going to create the swivel and then it's going to stop it right at the point where it's going to become a line. And th that actually cuts at this point. So maybe we wanna move that keyframe back one uh, if you wanna see the transition so we can zoom in like so. Move that to right here. And you can see that it disappears at this moment. And then what we wanna do is we wanna to go to the second piece of footage right here, and we want to start it at 90. So we wanna go click on our right piece of footage, go to the basic 3D, go to swivel, and set this one to 90. So this one's going to start where the other one ended. And then we're going to move on from there. So we're going to go up, forward, maybe, uh, let's see, we have 10 that way, so we'll do the exact same thing here. We'll go 10 this way and then we'll bring this up to 180. We don't wanna bring this back down to zero because that's going to make it flip uh, this direction and then sort of stop and go back. What we want it to do is a continuous motion around. So this, by making it go up to 180, we're making the first one go from you know this and then it switches to this side and then the next one finishes off the, the sort of swivel there. And now you can see we have this swivel effect. But you can see that there's that little bit of lag in the middle there and that is actually because we should keep this keyframe where it originally started. You can't see it, but um, the reason that it's better over here is that it makes it so there's only one black frame instead of where there's a black frame here and then a black frame over here. So now it looks like it's just one fluid transition. And you'll notice that there is one small sort of, uh, I guess you could call it a hiccup, is that through doing this, we have you know inverted our piece of footage here. It is now going left to right instead of right to left, and that can be really important in a lot of different sort of aspects. Um, you know, you, sometimes you wanna maybe do this effect, but you don't wanna have to, you know, invert your footage. So we can go ahead and fix that really quick by going over to into the effects, and then just searching for transform. And that'll be under video effects, distort, transform. We'll drag that onto the right piece over here. And then all we have to do is go down into the transform. So we're clicked on the right piece into transform down to scale. And we want to uncheck the uniform scale and we want to make this a negative 100. And so now we have this flip going, wait, there's a little bit of a problem there. Oh, this is important is that the transform needs to be above the basic 3D. Otherwise the transform is trying to work off of whatever effect basic 3D has added. Uh, so it goes from top to bottom, meaning that at this point, the transform is looking up 
and then adjusting depending on the basic 3D. So if we drag this up to the top right here, now we have the footage in the place that we wanted it to be. So just make sure that if you're going to fix your footage using the transform, that you drag the transform above basic 3D uh, so that you will get the still smooth transform effect like so. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.